about a year ago, I almost died. I somehow felt the sensation of ceasing to live and questioning my very existence. I was physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually drained to the point where I no longer felt anything, where I am so numbed at everything. And in some ways, I just had given up. I remember back then I was lying on the hospital bed, weak and vulnerable, and bruises were all over my body. I was having the hardest time to breathe. Eventually, I stepped class for more than a month in total. And I was greatly worried of my academic status since I was graduating that year. My parents opted to loan and received donations from our relatives in my school just to pay off from my medical expense. I feel like I'm just an oppressive burden to them. A dead weight, an excess baggage. And to top it all off, I have even seen my mother cry right in front of my eyes. I was at the verge of depression until one day, a miracle transpired. Now, a teacher of mine happened to come by to the hospital and gave me a Santo Nino memorabilia. To be honest, I'm not into saints or idols, but somehow this Santo Nino gave me hope. It sparked hope in me, the vigor to be saved, the eagerness to recover. So with that hope comes belief. And I created this fixed belief that all my hardships and all the trials that I've been through are just blessings in disguise. And God had put me on that trial because He knows I am capable of surviving it. I was healed. I became resilient. I even graduated with high honors and received seven Best in Awards. I was blessed beyond measure. Now, what if I haven't found hope back then? Would I still be alive? Would I still be here filming this video? I guess not. Because ultimately, everybody dies in the end. You, me, we all die. But not everybody has got the chance to live. And I thank God for my second life. This has been Joanna Lyra Donato. This is my idea worth sharing. Thank you.